So today we ended up getting a new map for Cold War Zombies and I decided I'd make a video on how to make your very own Ray K84 like Ray Gun Assault Rifle is pretty much what it is the weapon I'm using on screen right now I actually didn't get this one from crafting it I'll make another video later on how you can get it a separate way for free but I'm gonna show you how to craft it in this video I don't really want to waste any time with a long intro so if you enjoy or if you appreciate the help make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into this guy all right so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is actually turn the power on after after talking to Ravenov over here he'll tell you to go through the portal and find Maxis and when you do go through this teleporter it takes you to a fire base and once you get here, you'll see that there are three ether reactors that you need to turn on. Now, the one I always turn on first is the one I'm looking at right now because this one has Juggernaut beside it. But once you turn these ones on, these things on, all you have to do is kill zombies and it absorbs their soul. This is exactly what you do to turn all three of the ether reactors on. Every zombie you kill, it just sucks their soul up. And when you kill around 12, 10, I really didn't count enough zombies, it'll cause this big explosion right here. And that's when you know that you're finished. Then you just go to the next ether reactor and do the exact same thing. But you just gotta get your points up to open the doors, follow the purple arrows through the map, and they'll take you straight to these reactors. Now once you've done this, Ravenov will actually give you a dialogue letting you know to come back to him because you've unlocked a weapon forge. This weapon forge is, of course, the Pack-a-Punch, and at this point, now you have the Pack-a-Punch unlocked, which, I mean, it could help you throughout the rounds when you're trying to unlock this weapon, but yeah, that's step one done. After you've turned on the power, you want to come over here to the weapons lab and pick up this blueprint. This is actually the blueprint for the Ray Rifle itself and you're gonna need this. Then come over here to the scorched defense area and I'll just let this part play. You have to collect the key from this guy, but this is what it does. Yeah, I know, right? Really disgusting. But you need this eyeball to put it into this retinal scanner right here, which will actually end up giving you a locker key. Now, when this locker key comes out of the thing, you want to pick it up. And this next step, it's, you know, it's a little bit of trial and error, but you have to open all of these lockers in Barracks 2 and Barracks 1 until it spawns you a mimic. When you get this mimic and you kill it, it has a chance of dropping the part that you need for the ray rifle. As you can see here, I actually ended up getting it on the first Mimic kill. I don't know if it's guaranteed from killing them, but I got it right here. Now at this point, I was a little bit stumped, but it turns out all you have to do is wait for a Mangler to spawn. They start spawning at round 15, and when you shoot the gun off his arm, he'll drop the ammo clip you need for the rifle. And what you have to do with this is take it back into the weapons lab, put it into this charger, and wait two full rounds. And it'll charge up throughout those two rounds, and when you come back, as you can see, it's round 18 now, you can pick it up, and now you're on to the next step. This stuff gave me the most trouble because I kept getting it wrong, but basically when you use this computer in the weapons lab, it's going to spin like this and it's going to land on three separate corners of this circle that all correlate to a dartboard, which I will have on the screen. And yours will be different than mine, so don't think to just use whatever number I get. It's, it's different every time and whatever it lands on, you have to memorize it and I would recommend just pulling up a picture of a dartboard or using this video for a reference and then come back to spawn and shoot those numbers that it landed on and for me it was 17 20 10 and then you shoot the middle of it you shoot the bullseye and the final part you need drops out of the middle of the dartboard Now all you need to do is run back to the weapons lab and craft your wonder weapon that you worked so hard to get all the parts for, and there you go. 
your free wonder weapon you can pick it up use it and it functions just like any other wonder weapon it I might go to the mystery box i haven't tested it because i killed myself after getting this footage but as you can see i already had one that's why it disappeared and didn't play an animation when i picked it up but yeah it's pretty much a ray gun assault rifle it's nothing like the ray gun mark ii which is what i was afraid of originally but yeah, if you did enjoy this video or if it was helpful at all, make sure, like I said at the start, to leave a like and subscribe. It's not always required, but it's always appreciated. I want to make more content on zombies in the future. And yeah, that's it for this video. Peace.